Okay, YouTube, got my variable power supply all modified. I went here on the outlets and I used my little nibbler here. And now that lets me put the outlets in either direction. I can have them up or down as I see fit. And then over here, drilled a little hole right there, put a grommet in. Two white wires are the voltage, the red and black wire on the bottom are the current transformer. Pretty easy to wire up. Two wires off the voltmeter, and then I just pulled a wire off the ammeter down there and slipped that wire through the current transformer. Kind of put it down in the corner out of the way, and I mounted the meter there with some Velcro for now. I guess if I'm happy with this setup, what I'll do is just cut a big hole and push that meter right in. But now, yeah, there's a little better, and you can see it reads down to about 58 volts. Looks like the current's a little bit off. We get about 0 0.02, as you can see, as we run up. There's a uh, there's 100 volts, and you get the 100 volts on that meter. So we're still getting a little bit of current. I don't know if that's measuring the meters or what that is. But yeah, there we go. Let me uh, let me get a light bulb and I'll give that a try here. Yeah, okay, here I got my kilowatt meter. Now I can plug those straight in here because the plugs are in the same orientation as the meter. And let me turn this on. This is what I was describing the kilowatt meter doesn't really display until oh, we get up to yeah this one you can see here I'm at 91 volts and that's that's reading 90 the meter is just barely reading and this one says 120 volts so this meter the voltage is off but you can see as the voltage comes up the display gets a little better so we can go up here to maybe 120. So there we're at 120. You can see it's reading 125. And I've got a 150 watt infrared heating lamp in there. And you can see it's reading 153. But if I go to 120, look at that, 150 watts. Let's see what this guy reads. So yeah, see this meter reads a little bit high. Current's reading a little high on this meter compared to this one. You know, pretty good power factor there, of course. It's a resistive load, but that's pretty nice though. It volts, current, gives you the watt hours and the power. Yeah, that is pretty handy. And this, this thing reads down to down to about 60 volts. So it reads actually lower than they, than they claim. It's about 58, 57. Yep, and that's about where it drops out. Yeah, you go down, you go down to at least 60 volts, and it it's got a pretty steady reading. And you can see here the power's really dropped off. So we got about a quarter of the power, so you half the voltage, half the current, and a quarter of the power. Pretty easy install. Just two wires to the uh, voltmeter, one wire off the ammeter. Yeah, here you can see definite advantage here. You know. That meter you can read out to maybe a half an amp, a little over one, but here I can read out to 1.14 amps. Pretty happy with that. That's a nice, uh, nice little addition to this. So I think at some point I'm just going to get out the, uh, the nibbler here and make myself a bigger hole and set that meter right in there. That's the reason I set it off to the side because I figure if I cut a panel cut out here. I'll just use this as my starting hole and then go around and then that way I can shift the meter over to this painted line here. So yeah, there is my little digital meter on an analog isolated variable power supply. I think that'll really help because this way I can use this meter instead of a kilowatt meter and that way it frees this up keep this one portable and now I've got my own built-in uh, meter a little $12 addition to a uh, power supply I think that'll make it a very nice little unit for testing devices power consumption just thought I'd pass on my little project or maybe I'll show you what it looks like when I get it buttoned back up if you have any questions put that in the comment section below subscribe to the channel for updates 
rate and share this video with your friends and as always thanks for watching